I think he succeeds miraculously in, 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 in doing that. I don't think he really loses anything uh, of great importance, apart from, as I say, the wonderful monologues uh, of Mrs. Nickleby. Um, and there are some very funny scenes involving her, which don't really contribute to the plot at all, uh, and he has, to, he has to cut them. But otherwise, it's, it's astonishing uh, what he gets in and how he streamlines it. The end of Nicholas Nickleby, uh, the suicide of the wicked villainous uncle Ralph Nickleby, uh, is quite spectacularly done uh, in the film in a tremendous sort of gothic way uh, that is actually, I think, better than the novel. Um, because uh, the novel is very, the, the, the death of Ralph Nickleby in the novel is very much kind of like the 19th century melodrama stage, as it were, with him ranting and cursing and so forth. Um, but with the film, um, he can go in for all kinds of tremendous atmospheric effects, stormy, threatening skies and so forth. Um, and um, uh, the, the death of, of, of Ralph, uh, the suicide of Ralph, which in the novel is extremely melodramatic, with uh, he makes a very highly melodramatic speech. Um, Cavalcanti doesn't use that; he substitutes real cinematic horror, terror for it. So I think that that part is brilliant.